DK Brick Studios, and today we're going to be talking about the aftermath of prom. Before we get into that, please check out the links in the social. Uh, leave check the links in the description about that. The links in the socials. That that would have sounded a lot. That sounds a lot weirder than it should. Okay. Uh, also, please check out my friend's novel. Link is also in the description down below. Please uh, request models for me to build. I currently as I'm recording this. I have none, but uploading this, I may have some, but who knows, uh, only I do, except, or the, you, the person who requested them, but, uh, yeah, and, uh, man, uh, that's, let me see, is there anything else I need to mention here, uh, oh, please, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, it'd be greatly appreciated, I, it, it that, that, that totally helps out, help, that, that totally helps boost morale, around here knowing that people subscribe and please turn on notifications so you, when you're not so you get notified that uh, I build that I have uploaded a new video so um yeah uh, I think that's basically it uh yeah all right then so uh we're working on making a one version a single version of the uh boudinier and slash corsage holder where you only have one of the uh if you have like one photo strip it you only have one plain and simple uh, you saw at the, at the very beginning of this video, uh, the connected versions of these. So, yeah, uh, of the things, I'm, I did make them, so that way you can, can, they, I, they weren't intended to be connectable, but they are connectable. I just gotta swap out a couple part bricks at the bottom, but, yeah, they're pretty much connectable. So, yeah, uh, let me see here. Oh, yeah, we're talking about the aftermath. Oh, yeah, my aftermath, yeah, uh, Prom aftermath. Your aftermath of prom really depends on you, in some ways. Because with me, it was fine for a portion, most of the primitive while. I mean, with the person, yeah, oh heck yeah. But in other ways, it was insane. All right, so let's get started with this. Okay, the person, Julia. All right, she and I were on good terms. Well, okay, you know, the day after, right after. Okay, talk to talk to her a bit. Kind of confessed to her that I did have a crush on her. Uh, well, I did say like when we were doing the slow dance, if you remember we talked about about that a bit in the last video, I did say that I did feel like there was something between the two of us. And she's like, "Yeah, no." I'm like, all right, okay, okay. I eased off. I eased off the brake. I eased, I eased on. I eased off the gas. And I just let it go. Now, I might just say that was me for trying it again, but you'll find out later in the video, but let me know in the comment section about that. I'll ask, I might ask that later, but who knows. Yeah, also that same day, and I did ask that question later in the day. I definitely, I did see her earlier in the day. I saw her earlier in the day. It was like, wow, I saw her twice in one day, technically, because I got home way before the day even ended, like, after, like, 12 o'clock. So, yeah, it was like, even if you saw her twice in one day, wow. Oh, my God, that's insane. <laughs> oh, my God. And, wow, she, it was insane. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing what I did that day. Uh, uh, I had a lot, we were at, like, one of the, local restaurants in my in my town and I saw her there. It was Mother's Day that day, so uh yeah. I was shocked that see I'm like, oh hey, would you look at that? Look who's here. Oh man, it was insane because she I, I was not expecting to see her there. There. I saw her. I was excited. And uh just I didn't really go over her there. I only went over there once to say hi to introduce her to my sister. Because I don't think because she did not meet her. And yeah. She was the only one who didn't go over to my group of my group of with my family. Except for my grandparents, but that's a whole other thing. And yeah. We uh had a little chat. Uh and then we head on uh, home. And then uh we continued our dinner. And then we went to work. And then, uh, then I, then a week later, she got ready for her prom. 
which was insane, but I'm not, I'm like, wow, I'm, I might not actually do that. Knowing me, I might not, I might, I'm probably going to go and surprise my friends up on Long Island, that's for sure. Like, legit, I want to try to make it into my Long Island, like, oh my god, I want to try to head to the school. I want to get into the the school that high school that I would have gone to try to find my friends at the end of the school day actually just stand out of the school be like yo can you text one of my friends yo can you get a group get these people here in the front of the school for me please I'd be like sure why I'd be like you'll find out pretty soon you'll find out all right but yeah uh that was insane. I was shocked that she actually pulled that all off. You know what I mean? That's something I want to do. But yeah, uh, had a lot of fun just talking with her. Uh, well, I, I barely did, but you know, it, it pained me not to be able to get a text from her. It pained me. It pained me. So, it pained me. But hey. Uh, that does kind of sound like I am a bit neat. But it was just because I really like talking with her. And I did text her like every day. It was a thing that it just started happening. She was the one person that was in constant talk. I was in contact with like nearly every day. So yeah. Until after, until then, we started hitting summer. We continued that every day. Oh my god, that was insane. Well, then, well, actually, she got sick after that whole thing. I was like, wow. Glad I didn't do that with my thing. Uh, I might not. Thinking about how she, yeah. No, it was Memorial. Yeah. Yeah, I was at one of the amusement parks that are near where I'm at, and they had, like, a whole camping ground thing. Oh, my God, they had, like, glamping there. It was, like, cab cabin, but connected to electricity, TV, Wi-Fi, all this stuff. We were, like, oh, my God, beauty. I was, like, on a high just looking at all this beauty. And, oh, my God, it was just wonderful just being in that. Oh, my God, it, it was nice. Although the loft was like, I had very little space to actually function as a human standing upright. Uh, I was more like scrunched, like a, I was more like scrunched in the scrunch position, but hey, it was fun. Uh, so yeah, I just had a bunch of, just a bunch of stuff. Uh, I did talk, I'm going to mention this. I did do a whole thing at a vision where I didn't mention some things there. Uh, I did confess her that and she does impair my dreams every night, and I do feel like she does she did and I feel like uh, there's time to time or time to time now where she does appear she does watch these videos well she now knows how I feel about her. she might know how I feel about her now oh boy I love to know how she feels about me yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure she hates my guts but she'll find out what I mean about that soon uh and yeah we uh just ended up talking uh about that whenever I could, uh, because, oh, trust me, I was busy working on things, I was drawing, making, like, a cool May figure that could actually walk like a May figure would, oh my god, trust me, I had a lot of fun just learning, like, working there, that was fun, okay, just learning how to, how, what it was like being there, okay, I was even in a dorm room, okay, for all you freshmen in college, all of you people in college, okay, they're, all, all of you who are going to go to college abroad and all that, you're being shown dorm rooms for upperclassmen, all right? Probably. We were given, like, very bad-looking dorm rooms. We had, like, very little, like, it was bad. But, hey, it was something. It was something to keep us busy, keep us alive, keep us some, give us a place to stay. Although the place, oh, my God, there were days I just hated the place, <laughs> hated the people there. But yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go on a rant about that. I will talk about that in another video, if you want. I might uh, if I find about think about it, if I can think about something else, find some video topic to talk about that. Because that was a good experience, seeing how well I could survive by my own. And yeah, uh, Adel, I uh, confess to her that I did. Uh, how I felt about her. How I thought about her. Although she thought I was sweet, but hey, you know what? I am one of the most sweetest people you'd ever meet in person. Don't don't take that sweetness for kind for 
in a bad way. Okay, you better. It's something you have to. It, it's so. It's a. It's something that that can be overlooked. Yeah, it's something that can be taken as a weakness. But yet, you know what? There are times I can switch that off and just become savage. Trust me. But hey, uh, yeah, she she was wonderful. Uh, I also walked. Uh, also tried to you know. I, I tried to do anything to try to make her to know that I felt about how I felt about her. Like after a some time, I tell her she's beautiful. Because oh my god, trust me, she was beautiful. Was I don't know how how, how she she's now the definition of evil for me. Which actually, speaking of that, she's now the enemy an enemy in one of my books, where I've actually thought about that. If you, if you can see here, we're actually starting to separate all the models out into uh, their separate, uh, their own, uh, in their own uh, sub-models. So that way I can easily work on them themselves. I haven't finished separating them out. I felt like we'll just do this in sub-model, in a sub-model. And yeah, it actually worked out a lot better this way. And yeah, I actually like this. This, was, this actually went a lot better. And, uh, yeah, uh, I did share it for my very first, first, my very first version of my book. I am working on, uh, depending on when you're watching this, it may or may not be out. I'll definitely be having, I'll definitely let people know when it's out, because I'll do an announcement about that. But, yeah, uh, it was rough. Oh, my God, that thing was horrible. And I have a friend who's luckily able to help me with that, who's helped me see that. Trust me, I haven't looked back at that book in like forever, and I've grown better than since I my writing has become better since then. Like I'm at it, I'm at it, I'm at the rank of amateur. I'm not a noob, or the one below, or one above or below that. But I'm definitely an amateur, which is a good thing. It's probably a noob or a newbie. Yep, noob, newbie, then amateur. Which actually makes me feel a lot better because at least I know that I have some what I'm not bad as I think I am. Uh, I've got some. I've got some place to grow. I've got some. I still got. I I've got ways to go before I hit, hit like hit good expert. You know all that. But yeah. Um. No, but, okay, so yeah, um, uh, I don't know when I'm going to be able to show this, but, uh, maybe before the card, I'm going to pop the image. Yep, I'll pop the image up. At the end of the video, you're going to see it, um, because I don't want you guys to not see all the work I'm doing on here, but, uh, yeah, you're, <sighs> God, excuse me. Uh, the thing I made for my, for her, I'm, I, I mean, myself included, but I wanted to make this, uh, because we, I was near in the, uh, year of my, me and her, the day of me and her, who, when we met, I decided to make this, and it was amazing that I made a picture of both me and her in Minecraft. Yeah. It was insane. I was kind of glad I actually made that. It looked insane. I was kind of glad I actually did that, because it looked insane. It, it took a lot of work, a lot of just staring at the computer and trying and counting each, how many blocks there were, but I got it. I was able to get it, and oh my god, did it look beautiful. Oh my god, I actually like cut it up after I had like a giant blade, pink curved block. I cut into it a bit to give it the look of like, hey look, it's been roughed up and it's got like some, it's got some texture to it. And, oh man, it looks beautiful. I still have it after what happened. But you know what? We've got like eight minutes. I should probably just start talking about this too. <sighs> yeah. So, probably if I sound teared up, okay. Uh, because this is something that, that definitely hurt me 
and it was the first time this has ever happened to me. She was the first I ever met, the first person I actually had the courage to talk to and ask and do all the stuff I did with. She'll definitely be the first to bro who broke my heart. Yeah, she broke my heart. One day, I actually sat down, and this is before I actually sent the message, but I wrote down all my thoughts about her and how I had a crush on her. I had this whole message written out. Even though I forgot that I already said this to her, I said it to her. And I just said, screw it, we're going to send this to her. And what happened? I waited. I waited. And I waited. I, I sent it like right before school started. Just like like a minute or two, like at eight, at like the time my school started. So that way, oh god, and I was like, okay, no turning back now. And oh god, I told one of my friends, I'm like, oh dude, man. Hope it goes well, I'm like, thanks, dude. Well, it didn't. Ended horribly. Heartbroken, uh, because I have to now, uh, I had to, I was told Joey finally has a friend. I was like, okay. She kind of just left it there. Okay, I see her more at fault than me. Because I left, I'm like, alright, okay, fine. And I even mentioned it now, I don't care if you, I'm okay if you leave, fight, think of me, I just think of me as a friend. Because... I'm okay with that. I'd be okay with that. Also, I know me, I'd probably try to do it. But I think it was the best thing because there's somebody else I think I have a crush on. But I don't know. I'm still debating that. And then, let's see here. What happened then? She basically, as I continued trying to save it, Said, I, I think it's just has to be don't speak to each other for a while. I'm like, oh hell no. I, I'm like, I had to text my one friend because she was in the loop. And I am so glad she actually told her break through the BS. And all the deceit that I've been getting because it was like, okay, she's like, she wanted to break up. That hurt. Oh my god, that hurt. I was sad. I think I felt depressed. I know I was depressed, but I was I was sad. I was crying for a bit that day. I was I was in middle of class too when I actually started crying a bit. I was trying to pull myself together and quit writing. I was crying a bit. That showed my eighth period, and then when I got home, oh my god, that was bar. Or oh, even on the bus, I had like Aerosmith playing. Yeah. I listen to Aerosmith. 18 year old listen to Aerosmith. What you doing about, what you gonna do about that? Yeah, uh, that, that kind of helped. I made a breakup playlist on my Spotify. If you want to check out what I got on my Spotify, I can tell you what I, how I can help you find me. Find some of my cool playlists and follow me on there, although that's kind of highly doubt if you'd want to, because I, Make a bunch of compilations of cool songs. Yeah, uh, God. And yeah, uh, suffered a bit. But, I had things I had to work on. One, this channel. Two, my novel. Yeah, my novel. It was around this time my friend Amber, who got published. Also, before that got published, also helped start helping me see the light of like what it was like to of what my book was, all the problems with my book, and I'm like, whoa, okay then. She, oh my god, I was so glad she helped me, and then what happened later that day? We built. Uh, we, uh, then, what happened? Also, there's the channel, I mean, like, Last Jedi. That all, start, starting to obsess about The Last Jedi more. Start, Star Wars starting to take up more of my life more. Because, I feel like, now I was really, I think I was, now I'm thinking about this. I think she took more prevalence into my life than Star Wars. Which is wrong, in my opinion, okay? At first, my grandparents were there a bit, a little bit, for... 
funny. We're gonna have a fake Thanksgiving dinner. And uh they were like, Oh yeah, she she's the worst person ever. I'm like, Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, I'm so glad they actually felt the same way about me. How do I do a feel about her? Trust me, she's the worst most she's the face of evil to me now whenever I see her face. Or whenever I look at a picture of her on uh social media, which now she the day after that, actually I should mention that. She blocked me. She blocked me on all social media accounts. I think she blocked me even with on my text on text, uh, my number and deleted it maybe. Which is like wow harsh. You gonna figure out everything we went through? Well, fine, fine, fine. You go ahead, do that, do that. Good riddance anyway. I'm like good riddance. Be gone. Be gone with him. Uh, and yeah, Titanic was something that actually helped. Oh my god, the movie? That movie helped me get through this. That movie, oh my god, that was the one thing that actually helped me. Because it was like, Yoda, it is one line there. Failure is the greatest teacher. Like, Yoda, he, I mean, you look, look you're, he's the greatest teacher. Plus, with the line of, plus with the whole theme of failure, how you deal with failure. That spoke words to me. That's one of the reasons why it's my most favorite movie. It's so, oh my god, it, it gave me, it spoke to me in ways that I thought Star Wars, I never thought Star Wars movie would. And I'm actually glad I actually saw that. And, of course, I built the model for this movie, uh, which you can check out on this channel. I'll probably card them here. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, we, we're still going strong on this channel. And we're not going to stop with these models. None of these models, all these models, for sure. So, yeah, we're, wrapping, we're going to wrap this up. As we can see, we're pretty much done. So, yeah, this is Damien from DK Brick Studio signing off. Remember, me in the force. And the force of others be with you always. So yeah, um, uh, yeah, this is Damien from DK Brick Studio signing off. I'll see you all in the next Bill Talk video. Trust in your feelings and find a new hope. Take your best shot. And